Ladies and gentlemen, I have a very short speech about our environment. You probably know something about air pollution, but I'm going to tell you something more. But how many of us realize that this has become irrelevant in the world today? That the quality of air in our cities is really bad. The when you step out of the house or on your yard, you can actually see the air getting polluted. So the smoke from the excess of a bus, car, or a scooter. Smoke blowing from a factory chimney, fly ash, generated by thermal power, and speeding cars, causing dust to rise from the roof. National phenomena such as the eruption of a volcano and even someone smoking a cigarette can also can cause air pollution. Air pollution is aggravated because of poor development, increasing traffic, growing cities, rapid economic development, and industrialization. The industrial revolution in Europe in the 19th century saw the beginning of air pollution as we know it which is, has gradually become a glo global problem. A term smog was first used in 105 for each death to, to describe the condition of fog that had soot or smoke in it. Smog is a combination of various gases with water vapor and dust. A large part of these gases that form smog is produced when fuels are burned. Smog forms when heat and solid react with the gases. Smog can affect the flying suburbs and rural areas, as well as big cities. Its occurrences are often linked to heavy traffic, high temperatures, and calm winds. In fact, the word smog has been coined from a combination of the words fog and smoke. Smog refers to hazy air that causes difficult breathing conditions. Another effect of air pollution is acid rain. The phenomenon occurs when sulfur oxide and nitrogen oxide from the burning fuel combine with water vapor in the atmosphere and fall as rain or snow. These gases can also be emitted from natural sources like volcanoes. Acid rain causes extensive damage to water, forest, and soil. We started an even human health. Many lakes and streams have been contaminated, and this has led to the disappearance of some species of fish and all extensive damage to forests and other forms of life. As, as previously discussed, CFCs were phased out of via the Montreal Protocol due to the per part in ozone depletion. The spectacular region referred to as atmospheric window due to the relative transparency of the atmosphere with this region. The strength of CFC belt and the mixed possibility of atmosphere at which the comparator and mid radiation are two factors that contribute with the CFC's super greenhouse effect. Really, pollutants are very damaging to our mother Earth. In many countries, in the first, steps are being taken to stop the damage to our environment from air pollution. That's why we should begin ourselves and let us save the mother Earth. The cases in school and university teach students beginning at very young ages about the effects of air pollution. But it doesn't help. In the world, there are still a lot of people who don't care about our environment. We should encourage them to protect it because the world is our home. So we should take care of it. We should encourage our family not to use often cars. Whenever possible, to take bicycles or use public transport. We also should reduce the use of aerosols in the household and switch off all the lights and fans when not required. It is hard to do. If everyone do it, our environment will become more clear and peaceful. That's all. Thank you and God bless.